Yo, what is up YouTube? It's your boy Pizza. It's come to my attention a lot of you are pretty upset on your online players that you've been making. They end up turning up like crap. You spent hundreds of thousands of VC real life money only for your player to absolutely suck online or even in your my career. That's my problem too. And it's come to my attention that it's time that we actually make a player that's going to be absolutely unstoppable in every aspect of the game. Now before we start this off, there is really no overpower position in NBA 2K16, which is a really good thing. But this setup here is without a doubt one of the best that you could possibly do. Our position is going to be shooting guard. Bigger than a point guard so we can get rebounds and stuff and blocks whenever we have to and quicker than a power forward and center. So we can go up and down the court vertically as along with horizontally if you need to on defense. Now our outside scoring style is going to be key with this setup. So you are able to hit them long mid ranges along with the three pointers quite easily. Now with this setup, you're still gonna be all right at inside scoring. Your inside scoring stats will not be that great, but they will be respectable where you can score dunks and layups on the fast break as well as drive to the basket every once in a while and you're able to make the shot most of the time. Now, like I said, not overpowered, but most of the time, but you want to be able to shoot the out rate, outside shot, guys. You have to, and if you don't do the outside, you're not going to be doing that as easily. Anyways, our height, six foot five, that is it. Like I said, you're gonna be bigger than the point guards. Six foot five, that's an average height for our guy. But to compensate, so because you're gonna be a little bit smaller than some of them guys down there, we're gonna put our weight at 225 pounds. So you're not getting bullied down low. You're not getting posted up. So you can basically stand your own on the court whenever you're playing with people. So that weight is gonna compensate a little bit. Now you go ahead and put your number, whatever you want, Obviously, that doesn't matter. We're going to go ahead down to your handness. I like right, right. I've been using that sucker since 1994, right? So go ahead, put it on whatever you want. Now, this is important. Your dunk hand. If you put it on right, you're not going to be able to score as well with your left. If you put it on your left, you're not going to be able to score as well with your right. So that is why you put it on either. You can go up strong with either hand. That's kind of important, guys. Make sure you do that. Don't forget about that, all right? Now with our wingspan and our length and our width and all this, guys, put this all the way up. There's no reason why you shouldn't do this. This is going to help us with blocks, help us with rebounds, help us with everything that we need. All right, guys, so go ahead and copy this. This is basically the setup right here. We're going to go ahead and look at all the attributes, what you can get your guy all the way up to. All right, folks, here we go. We're going to jump right into the attribute upgrades, go through each and every single category and show you guys the best possible way to upgrade your player. Let's start it off with our jump shooting. Your jump shooting is definitely one of your strong points with this player. Really important. You got a mid range of 88 along with an 88 three pointer. The only person that maybe might shoot better than you is a point guard. And he's going to be so much smaller that it's not even worth it. You probably get swatted all the time. 88 is going to do you really good whenever you're shooting threes. You're going to make it most of the time once you get this all the way up. And that's not including all the badges, limitless range, dead eye that you can unlock. That's going to make your guy even better. All right. So look, your jump shot, it's really good. This is what you want. It's not overpowered, but it's really good. We want to balance here on everything. Now we're going to move on to the inside scoring. This is kind of one of your weak spots, I guess you could say, inside scoring. Your layup goes all the way up to an 80, and um, don't worry about the post stuff. You're really not going to be posting up with this guy. I mean, if you really like doing that, just make a center, guys. But if you want an overall great player, this is the setup, all right? Your standing layup, still not too bad either. Now let's move on to our athlete spot. Now it says your standing dunk is only out of 50 and all that, but whenever you get all this stuff upgraded all the way, you get your badges that you need, your guy's going to be all right at dunking. Like, don't worry about that. Now your speed's all the way up to an 80. You're thinking, 80 speed, that's it? Like, I'm this small and I'm an 80 speed. First off, 80 speed, guys, is a lot. Imagine a power forward, shooting guard, or anybody else that's bigger than you. He's going to be a lot slower than this. 80 speed is going to get you up and down the court really, really quick, guys. And uh, your strength is decent as well, um, which compensates with that height and that uh, weight that you did. So we're looking at Playmaker now. Your Playmaker is really nice. 
we can pass pretty well. Our ball control is average. It's, it's above average, I would say, at a 74 overall. You could still dribble a bit. It's not going to be like crossover dribble moves. But like I said, we're going for a nice balance here. Now our rebounding. Our guy is six foot five. We put our wingspan up. Now this depends. What do you want to do? You want to upgrade your rebounding. Now this all depends. Who are you going to be playing with online? Are you playing with the center and power forward? If you are, you don't even got to worry about your rebounding. You can keep it here at zero. But if you're one of the bigger guys, if you're playing with other point guards and stuff, maybe recommend doing your rebounding all the way up and then leaving your inside scoring lower. But look at our defense here. This is another really nice strong point. We got a lot of 99 stats you can get your guy up to. Our steal is all the way up to an 88. Shot contested is really high as well. Your guy's going to be great on defense. Really, really good overall on defense. Uh, his lateral quickness, not too bad at an 80. And um, like I said, guys, this is the best setup i found. I've tried literally about 50 different setups. But anyways, this is what you could do. You have two different options. You can... Put your inside scoring up halfway you can do it halfway you're not gonna be the best inside score but you'll be able to get it on fast breaks and stuff you not be horrible and you can put your rebounding up halfway or what i would recommend play with some big guys put your rebounding at zero don't worry about it. you'll be able to get rebounds here and there if they drop to you i guess and then put your inside scoring all the way up you'll be a scoring machine and your guy will be off to just killing it Anyways, this is your boy Pizza. Hit that like button if you thought this video helped. More videos in NBA coming soon, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for some more 2K16, boys. This is your boy Pizza once again. Peace out, guys.